This is Next Weather. Next Weather Chief Meteorologist Ivan Cabrera joins us once more with a look ahead at what we can expect over the next couple of days. Not great. Oh, uh, man. Man. We were hoping for, for, I, I change from earlier. You know, I think tomorrow's good, so just uh, soak it in. And I tell you what, this is just a fantastic weather. This time of night after 11, 71 degrees. The dew point's 59. That means humidity is just uh, as, as excellent as it gets. Very low and a light wind. So enjoy it. Soak it in tomorrow. I think a similar day to today. Probably get close to 80 degrees again. What we won't do tomorrow is that. 63 and those upper 50s are gone. East wind is moderating temperatures. And so we'll stay in the 60s generally for today. Night, but not bad at all. Next radar network is quiet. High pressure still across the southeastern U.S. This would be great if we could just park these here for the next few days and into the weekend. Problem is these are going away and there's an area of low pressure that's going to take center stage here as we continue to monitor it. And really, it's just a shield of rain that's going to be coming in in rounds. Won't be raining every minute of every day, Friday through Saturday, but a good chunk of it will be. There it comes. This is hard to just miss. I mean, we're right in the middle of the path of this low and it is going to be bringing us several rounds of very heavy rainfall. So a next alert for both Friday and Saturday. And I think both days uh, we have the potential for those threats that I've been mentioning as far as the flooding and certainly severe storms uh, not out of the question. Level one of five from the prediction center, but still uh, that's uh, pretty significant. There comes the warm front. That's round one Friday and I'll time it out for you on rain tracker, but windy as well. And then we've got the front, the second front associated with it. That's the cold front behind that. That's what's going to give us the nice weather all over again. And we'll be back where we start this week on Sunday and into early next week. Problem is we got that huge bump on the road back two bumps for Friday and Saturday. There you see rain tracker tomorrow. Just a couple of inland showers. I don't think those will mess with our metros here. Perhaps a western neighborhood could get a little sprinkle, but that would be about it. Then here we are Friday morning. The commute right out looks good. The timing has kind of come together a little bit more so that this gets in later as opposed to earlier. But once it does get in, the rain is pretty heavy throughout the day. And uh, once again, another round the afternoon and in fact uh, that is not the end of it here we'll keep rolling this and there you see Saturday that's the actual that's the cold front uh, that is going to be moving through and out ahead of it more heavy rainfall and more potential severe weather Saturday morning before we finally clear things out it is quite something I don't think we've seen something like this in fact in uh, quite a while uh, the fact that we're talking about three to five inches in two days uh, still in our dry season that's significant stuff and I think with the wind it's just going to be a mess here for Friday and Saturday and the potential for those that damaging winds as well. If you're making it a beach day tomorrow, I think the weather's going to be fine. The ocean and the currents are not with us here, not with you as far as the rip currents. Those are going to be high, but by the afternoon, we should manage around 80 degrees. And there are the two next weather alerts for both Friday, Saturday, finally clearing out Sunday and looks great heading into early next week.